Hello guys, hope you will be fine and taking good care of your health. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are solving short syllabus numericals of unit number 4 and 5. The short syllabus numericals of unit number 4 is one is 4.3 and second is 4.9 that we solve in this video. Numerical 4.3 is find the magnitude and direction of a force if its x component is 12 newton and y component is 5 newton. So first of all we write given data x component x component of force x component of force is equal to fx that is equal to 12 newton and then y component of force is denoted by fy that is equal to 5 newton we know that force is a vector quantity, so it needs to describe magnitude and direction. Direction of sorry, magnitude of uh, force is given by Fx square plus Fy square square root is equal to F. This is the magnitude of F. You know this formula written in the article determination of a force by its perpendicular components fx square the value of fx is 12 12 square plus 5 square square root you know that 12 square is equal to 144 plus 5 square is equal to 25 and when we add 144 plus 25 we get 169 169 square root is equal to 30. This is the magnitude that we have to find of force. Now we are going to find the direction of force. Direction of force is determined by angle theta. The formula of angle theta is tan inverse 1 Fy over Fx. Here putting the values tan inverse 1 fy is equal to 5 fx is equal to 30 and we calculate it with the help of your with the help of calculator when we solve we get uh, tan inverse 1 5 divided by 13 is equal to 0 0.4166 when we take tan inverse of 0 0.4166 with the help of calculator we get 32.6 degree so here we get 32.6 degree okay now we are solving its next problem that is problem number 4.7 the problem number 4.7 is a picture frame is hanging by two vertical strings the tension in this string uh, uh, are 3.8 newton and 4.4 uh, newton so i take first tension is d1 that is 3.8 and i take second tension as d2 that is 4.4 and we have to find its weight its weight is acting downward and the you know that the tension force act, acting in upward direction so all downward forces equal to the sum of upward forces so weight is equal to that is acting in downward direction is equal to the tensions T1 and uh, the sum of tension T1 and T2 because these two forces are acting in upward direction. So now just putting the values, the value of T1 uh, is 3.8 and the value of 4.4, 3.8 plus 4.4 is equal to 8.2 Newton. So here I get 8.2 Newton and this these numericals you have to write on your classwork registers okay note one thing that is you have to write these numericals in your classwork registers of physics now we are solving unit number five that is gravitation is short syllabus numericals it's uh, there are two only two classwork uh, short syllabus numericals that are 5.4 and 5.9 5.4 is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of moon is 1.62 meter uh, ms minus 2 uh, here uh, you can write ms minus 2 okay the radius of the moon is uh, 1740 kilometer find the mass of the moon acceleration due to gravity 
g is given that is 1.62 ms minus 2 1.62 ms minus 2 and radius of moon r is given that is 7, 70, 1740 kilometer 1740 kilometer kilometer is a bigger unit we have to convert it into meter to convert it into meter we multiply it with 1000 and uh, in the end we get 1.7 1.74 multiplied by 10 raised to power 6 3 zeros are of 1000 and when we move this point to on the first now zero digit to write it in the scientific notation 10 raised to power 3 we get 10 raised to power 3 10 raised to power 3 plus 10 raised to power 3 is equal to 10 raised to power 6 actually we have to find the mass of the moon we know that the mass to find the mass of earth or to find the mass of moon the formula is uh, we already learned in chapter g r square over capital G just putting the value the value of G is 1.62 multiply the value of R is 1.74 multiply by 10 raised to power 6 divided by G that is equal to 6.67 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 11 when we calculate it with the help of calculator by multiplying and adding we get the mass of the moon that is 7.35 7.35 multiply by 10 raised to power 22 kg 10 to the power 22 kg this is the answer now we are solving next numerical that is 5.9 uh, polar satellite is launched at 850 km above earth find its orbital speed so here a polar satellite is given that is launched at 50 km uh, above earth uh, find, and we have to find its orbital velocity you know that the formula of orbital velocity is gh into r plus h whole square root and here we do not know the value of gh so first of all we find the value of gh first of all we know that radius of earth radius of earth is denoted by r that is equal to 6400 kilo miles then height of satellite h is given that is equal to 850 kilo miles then total distance from the center of earth total distance from the center of earth is equal to total distance from the center of circle is equal to the radius of uh, the earth plus the height above the earth r plus h when we uh, add r plus h means 5400 plus 850 we get here 72500 kilometers 72500 kilometer now mass of the earth m e is equal to 6 multiplied by 10 to 6 multiply by 10 raised to power 24 kg we know that the formula of gh is gh is equal to g capital m e divided by r plus h whole square r plus h whole square just putting the value uh, the value of g is 6.67 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 11 multiplied by the value of m is 6 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 24 the, uh, divided by the value of r the value of r is 72.500 plus the value of h is 850 yeah r uh, okay 850 whole square when we calculate it with the help of calculator here we get the answer the answer of, of this is uh, 7.6172 7.6172 the value of gh now we can easily find the orbital velocity we know that the uh, formula of orbital velocity is gh into r plus h whole square gh into r plus h whole square sorry uh, whole square root not square whole square root 
Now just put in the value, the value of gh that we find here that is 7.6172 multiplied by r plus h we find 72 r plus h we find 7.25 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 7.25 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 whole square root when we multiply and then take its square root we get the orbital velocity v naught that is equal to 7431 7431 meter per second. I hope this is clear. And if you have any problem in this uh, in this numerical, you can ask me. Love is.